In the solvent, you use paper folding to construct lines. You can also use a straight edge and a compass to construct parallel and perpendicular lines. In lesson 3-5, you learned that through a point not on a line, there is a unique line parallel to the given line. Problem one shows the construction of this line. Problem one, constructing parallel lines. Construct the line parallel to a given line and through a given point that's not on the line. Here we're given line L and point N that's clearly not on the line L. Our job is to construct M, line M, through the point N with M being parallel to L. So we should visualize what it is we're, we're attempting to do and that's to, to construct this line, the red line, uh, parallel to L. Step one, label two points, H and J, on line L. Of course, the naming is up to you, but for this example, H and J are chosen. Um, and then draw line HN. Step two, at the point N, construct angle one congruent to angle NHJ below. Label the new line M. M is parallel to L. Your turn. Reasoning to ensure that you understand what's at work here. Why must lines L and M be parallel? 